police officer Jake Willeen was killed in that ambush last summer, the community rallied around the department. People lined the streets for processions, they built makeshift memorials where the shooting took place, and they filled Shields Arena to celebrate his life. Today, the nation joined together to honor officers from all around the country, like Waleen, killed in the line of duty. The event included a speech from President Biden. Today, we also heard from the hero of last year's shooting, Officer Zach Robinson. Valley News Team's Anna Ball Weber has the latest from Washington, D.C. Being a police officer is not just what you do who you are and they are truly heroes i know hearing the name of your husband wife father mother son or daughter brother sister brings it all back as if you got that news just 10 minutes ago emotional powerful words from our nation's president before we heard 222 names of officers who died in the line of duty 222 men and women who protected served and sacrificed i admire your courage being here. I hope you take comfort in the knowledge that their sacrifice will never be forgotten. Remembering the fallen officers, the Fraternal Order of Police sponsored the National Peace Officers Memorial Service. The memorial allows the Fargo-Moorhead community to get that closure that they need, and 60 officers from the Fargo Police Department are here paying tribute to North Dakota's fallen officers, Jake Walleen and Paul Martin. It's a weird emotion, like you're here for for Jake and his sacrifice and everything. Um, but then to get everybody out here too, to kind of just take it all in and help with that healing process for all of us. Healing the wounds for both those in the FPD and the community. The entire city of Fargo stopped in its tracks on July 14th. And on May 15th the next year, the very same thing happened. This time, to remember the heroes that walk among us. In Washington, D.C., Annabelle Weber, Valley News Live.